I had the choice of living in a teepee in New Mexico or opening up a little shop like this. And I was like, all right, if I'm in a teepee, you know what? I could meditate all day long. I could just, you know, I could get my own food and, uh, and not interact with anyone. If I open a shop, I'll have to get past this desire to just like, oh. And uh, so I opened the store. From a very young age, I made a decision that I wanted to live in bliss. I wanted to be happy. And so I realized I had to create a reality for myself that would uh, make that possible. Uh, and then I got a little bit older and I had a child and I wanted to just stay home with my child. And so I started creating this and selling it to stores. And uh, then and that just continued to grow over the years. And then uh, Grateful Dead tour uh, from 77 to 94. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little <laughs> bit of a stretch there. That's a lot of it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was, it was beautiful. Um, yeah, it was really wonderful. And every city that we went to, I'd go to the children's shops and hippie shops in that neighborhood, in that town, and uh, get wholesale orders. And they were just a stepping stone, you know, the Grateful Dead. And they were wonderful people. Jerry used to call me the kid man because of the children's clothing I designed. So whenever anyone in the band needed a gift or was having a baby or the extended family, uh, they'd send for me and I'd hook them up. We, we did shows like that people would die to have seen at the Grateful Dead. We were at the closing of the Winterland, uh, English Town in September 77, uh, Radio City Music Hall in 1980. I had been uh, traveling and I came back to visit them and started staying with them. I stayed, was living with them there. And uh, we did some festivals, we started doing uh, shows and he fell in love with this life too. And we were brothers, so of course we're brothers. And uh, we work well together, we work well together. It's our world had not collided, they've merged. And we've been able to create something that in my wildest dreams, I couldn't imagine we'd have the good fortune to do. I had opened up a store in Pennsylvania years ago and I had similar to this. And uh, I always knew, I always knew that that was practice for New York. Because New York rocks, this is the best place. And where we are, this is the city of dreams. You see the sign when you come into town. And it, 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 to me, it truly is. I am so excited to be here. I, I was born in a car in Brooklyn on the way to the hospital, literally. He was in the back seat. I've come home. And I've been traveling my whole life to find home again. And now I'm here, so I'm just happier than you can imagine. I love so, that. That's yeah, great. and it's it's true. <laughs>